women in Sweden have it better than women in Singapore? After all, Swedish parents are entitled to 480 days of parental leave, which works out to 16 months, regardless of whether they are married or single. In Singapore, women are entitled to 4 months of maternity leave while the fathers get one week and the option to take a week's leave for mom's maternity leave. A subsidized childcare system in Sweden where parents pay around $200 a month for the first child also encourages mothers to stay in the workforce. In Singapore, the cost of full day childcare ranges from $300 to $2,600 a month. In addition, Sweden is ranked 4th in the world for gender equality according to the Global Gender Gap Report, while Singapore falls far below at 55. Decades ago, we found a formula to make it possible for women to um, combine motherhood and work life. And I think that is the reason why Europe, uh, other parts of Europe are facing the, these problems, because European women want to have a have a work life and if they can't combine that with having having kids they don't have kids and that becomes a problem for society as a whole but the 16 months of parental leave does have its drawbacks women do tend to take the bulk or around 75 percent of the parental leave entitlement the result swedish women end up earning 14 percent less than the men as detailed in an Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, or OECD, report in 2012. The same report also found that only 31% of senior managers in Sweden are women. Normally in Sweden you get a salary increase every year, uh, but when you are at home it's not so easy to tell your, uh, your company that you want more money because you are only at home doing nothing, <laughs> playing with a child. So then you lose a little bit of the, like, level or like the yearly increase of your salary so if you have like two three children then you can be at home for quite a long time and then maybe you lose a little bit of your salary increase in the total i think of course that's an issue you can see it just to employ a woman in the 30s could be like maybe she wants to have children but it's so natural now here in sweden it's it's like a part of the life so it's not, it's, it's very natural and it's very natural now that the men's go as well to stay home. As a collective, there is a major risk that employers consider females as a more high risk, high risk population because very many of them are off work for a much longer time than most men are. And we see that in, in low, lower wages, we see it in in, in, in different aspects and at least we acknowledge this is a problem and we try to promote more men to spend time on paternity leave as well. Gender equality is a big part of the Swedish system with Sweden regarded as one of the world's most gender egalitarian countries. But it's not just at the workplace. Gender equality is promoted to the Swedish people from a very young age when the children enter preschool. One school in particular, Igelia Preschool in Stockholm, has forbidden its teachers from using the pronouns him and her and gotten children there to refer to one another simply as friends. The Swedish government aims to promote gender equality from a young age and one of the ways it is doing so is by encouraging more male teachers or pedagogues to work at preschools. I'm convinced that if you have male pedagogues as well, a lot of things happen because then you really get, get the awareness. One male teacher, everybody wants, all kids want to be with that guy and they are wanting to, they want to battle with him and run with him and, and he gets a male stereotype among all the women. But, but as, now they, when there are three or four men, it normalizes and you, you really can see that men and Men are different among themselves and women are, are different. And, and I, I think that that's a very important um, step. So is Sweden the best country for women? While a large percentage of Swedish women are in the workforce, there is still a wage gap and a disproportionate number of women in high positions. It may not be very different in Singapore, but women here do not enjoy as many benefits. Swedish mothers have four times more maternity leave than their Singaporean counterparts and pay less for childcare. So while there might be downsides to the Swedish system, at least it encourages mothers to continue working. Keep watching Razor TV 
as we bring you more stories from Sweden, including how the Swedish model of encouraging its citizens to have children compares to Singapore.